Hello and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyron Saber. Last time out, Jason had a maybe disappointing is the best word to use for it appearance against the Pittsburgh Pirates in their house. Pitched for six innings, allowed two runs on five hits, collected ten strikeouts, but the Arizona Bats kind of went quiet against a very dominant pitching staff and defense for Pittsburgh for a team, honestly, that really isn't doing all that well this year. And we took the loss. So we just got to get out here. We're running out of games this season. We're coming up to the end of end of August. We only got about six more games that Jason will be starting. So we'll just have to find out what he can do for the Diamondbacks as the season winds its way to a close. Let's get it. It's uh, it's for nine cap. More contact. Been telling you guys. National League pitcher. National League hitting. Besides, maybe if Jason can knock himself a few dongs, he can stay in games a little bit longer. Elite players become so by continuing to look for ways to refine and improve their skill set. Yep. Try to get clutch, I guess. And get ourselves into friendship or rivalry. I mean, we're not rivals. With, we don't play in the same division as the Brewers, but it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to... Uh, Bring those up, but at the same time, I think I'm gonna continue to work on my teammates here. Build up my relationships. Right on the edge of a breakout. I can feel it. Okay, and that'll bring us up against the Milwaukee Brewers in Chase Field. Now, Jason has faced the Brewers a grand total of four times. He has a 3 and one excuse me, a 1-3 and three record against him, a 4.03 ERA, and a 336 Woba. So, average numbers, league average numbers against the Brewers in the past, but it has been a couple years since he's faced them. So, it's time to see what two-time Cy Young winner and possible MVP candidate this year, Jason Parham, can do against him. Let's get it. Chase Field in Phoenix. This is Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, game two of this four-game weekend set between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. Jason Parham is on the mound for game two. What do we need to know here, Danny? Wow, talk about a number that jumps out at you. This guy's whip, which is walks to hits to innings pitch, is less than one coming into this start. That's not an easy thing to do. That tells me one thing. Not only is his stuff good, but he wipes people out quick. This is a real good pitcher. Here's Andrew in Seattle. He'll get us started in this one under fielder. the lights. Okay, first pitch of the it's day awesome. for the Diamondbacks and for Jason Parham. Let's get it. No outs here. Here comes the first pitch. And we're underway. As the Pulls the sword on that one, and that'll be strike one. Strike, 0 oh and 1. Well, guys, you take a look at this Diamondback squad as they begin play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove, winning three, three of their last four three games. 40. Yeah, Maddie, this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this. Right, two seamer to the top outside corner. Gets Fastball, strike two. Strike two. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Now the try a pitch. cutter down and away. Oh, the Not so much. One and two. 89 degrees our temperature here at first pitch tonight. A little bit warm here in uh, in Phoenix for start of the game tonight. The one two. And he fouls this Taps one. the two seamer going away. Pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Swing and a line drive. Little bloop on the curveball, and that'll put it into left field, and that'll be a base hit. So man on first with nobody else. Didn't try and do too much. Stayed on the attack, kept his hands inside the ball. I just stayed up a little further than I wanted it to. 
not a bad spot necessarily. It was just kind of more than standing in now. More in the zone than I was trying to go for. So far this season, Geary is a batting line residing in the 230s. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. On the ground. On the other hand, that curveball gets us a double play. And they get the double play. And a look now at the batting order for the visiting Milwaukee Brewers. Dero, what's your take as they look to end their losing streak? Matt, you take a look at both these lineups. They got their work cut out for them. This is going to be a pitcher's duel. Both these guys can execute and have a chance to go deep in this game and turn it over to bullpen. Somebody is going to have to get that big two-out knock with runners in scoring position. Josh Bell, the next to hit. That no one third. on base for him the after the double play. Yeah, Josh that, Bell that slugging ball. first baseman currently for the Pittsburgh Pirates in our time. Was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. And he gets a hit and first pitch changeup taken for a strike. Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish. Try a two-seamer up and in. Figure his zone out. He doesn't favor strike the two looking. Pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high Track zone. Track cutter down and away. Zone, his oh, zone fluctuates mm, a little bit too much. Took it, but no swing. The course yeah, of the game. Now, Ball out of the zone for a ball. Ball one. Swing and, Swing and a miss on a curveball in the miss. dirt. Strikeout number one for Jason on the day, and that will end the inning. Brewers go down quietly, and now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. I've never seen that mural before. That's quite nice. And Arizona gets nothing going in the bottom of the first, so Jason has to come out here and hold it scoreless here, top of the second. Let's go. I want to say Nomar Mazzara is off the Rangers, Texas Rangers, I believe. The name's familiar, I just can't remember where I've seen it. Swing and a miss on the two-seamer. 96, top of the zone. He was early on it, so... Try one down. Broken bat. Sawed him off with a changeup. Jason saw it off. No more Mazzara with a bloody changeup. And that'll be one away here in the first. We got uh, Sammy Castilla playing short and Jack Reinheimer at third. Usual suspects in the outfield. Hoskins, Peterson, Harper. Gutierrez and Lamb on the right side of the field. Behind the dish, it's Cam Gallagher, and as usual, on the bump, Mr. Jason Parham. Can't get enough of that. Sawed him off with a changeup. First delivery to him on the way. Two seamer up and in for ball one. Hey, now we got one. We got one. Try another one up and away. That's just above the zone for ball two. But ruled a ball. It's two and zero now. Not the ideal spot to be right here. Two and zero count on a real good hitter. Swing and a miss on that changeup down, and that's strike one. Two balls and a strike to count. Come on, big guy, one time. Here we go. Try two seamer up and away. High in the air, out off the end of the bat, right. and Bryce, uh, excuse me, Bryce Harper. I'm going to get that mixed up again and again. Rice Harper, Brees Hoskins. At the plate, Kevin Bryce Ploiecki Harper comes in to pull that in, and that puts away Patrick Klobov, brings up Kevin Ploiecki. Believe Jason's former catcher off the Mets. I think Jason had some playing time with Kevin. And a good pitch That's a two-seamer. Strike one. That's why this guy is great. 
never misses over the heart of the plate. It's got electric stuff, but pinpoint control to all four quadrants. All right, curveball away. Gets strike two on the swinging foul ball. Hey, it's your pitch. Drive it deep. Here we go, baby. Cam Gallagher calls for a changeup down out of the zone. So I guess we'll give it a try. That was not particularly out of the zone. More slam. Ooh. That was kind of a zesty play, Jason, making a reaching tag with the foul, with the glove, but that'll end the inning. Now at the plate, Tom Cartwright, 7 8 9, bottom of the order, set to go here in the third. Okay. Still nothing going, top third. So let's get out here and keep going. First offering on its way. Two seamer down gets no swing. That's strike one, or ball one, excuse me. Another one up and away. That gets called for a strike. Hey, let it rip one time. Need you right here. Try a two seam inside half. Fouls that off. Strike two. And it's getting to the shirt getting to the third inning, so we'll go ahead and give it to him. It's the showtime slider, folks. Down and away. Right on the corner. See what he got. Swing and a miss. Thanks for playing. Have a seat and get comfortable. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks, and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. Hey, we got one out here. Five. Batting it. The left fielder. In now, Anthony, Anthony Aguilar. Aguilar. As the first pitch Two seamer. There for a cold strike Center of the zone. Good one to hit first pitch, but no swing, and that's strike one. Now here's the pitch. Try one up and away. Here's one Just high. above it's the one zone one. for ball one. one huh? Try a cutter, same spot. Hey, like the can right there. Square it up. Ooh. Ooh. Strike two on the one cutter, and he's behind yeah. in the count. Great one spot on that one. My goodness. Come on, guy. Get your pitch up there. Change up away. Goes reaching for it. Fouled it off. He fouled that pitch off right there, but he was definitely out in front. He was cheating to a heater, no question about it. Try another one inside. Taps that one. Foul below the zone. Slow him down even more with the curveball. And Swing and a miss. Well. So That'll be strikeout out number three on the day for Jason and bring up the pitcher spot. I believe it's and Andreas Gomez right today. Screen, and hey, 200 strikeouts on the year. He has been very so not nearly season. as impressive as a in stat now, as the 1,000 on the career, but you know what? Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And look at a Lots of these 200 pitch is 200 strikeout seasons add up to a big uh, career. Okay. Can't allow yourself to lose focus right here with the pitcher up. Got to stay on the attack. Minimize Come on, Jay. Against these guys and put them away early. Strike one. Balls. It gets the bottom of the zone. Now the 2 1. Yeah. Cutter taken, strike two. two. Well, that's a tough pitch to take right there, right down the middle. But I think that happens when you're facing a good pitcher like this guy. The last thing you're expecting is Try Cutter low right outside corner. Unfortunately, he let that that's one go. fouled like off. Have that pitch back to take a good swing at that one. We'll give him the same spot just because. See it? Drive it. Let's go, kid. Another same pitch, two, same two spot. Offering. One, one. On the line for first. Dick, dick, dick. 
And that's out number three. So we didn't actually strike out the side this time around, but still face the minimum through three. So turn the order over. Jason gets his first shot at bat, and we'll get a chance to see what we can do. Welcome back. The Diamondbacks are set to hit here in the third inning, and this offense has certainly not disappointed this year. They enter the day leading the league in round trippers and talking with some of their players before the game, they said they know home runs are a big part of their game, but it's not something they try to focus or rely on. They said as long as they're attacking good pitches to hit and not trying to do too much, the rest will take care of itself. Guys? All right, Heidi, thank you. Now get your pitch and drive it right here. Leading off. So, right so digging in now, Jason no Parham. He'll start Jason. things out here in a tie ball Parham. game. I'm so used to playing Salomon Barrios at this point that I'm still a little bit weirded out by having Jason standing in the, uh... Now that's popped up. Bell has room in foul territory. Still a little bit weirded out by Jason standing in the right-hand batter's box. But, good pitch to hit, but Jason just pops it up onto the right field side and gone. And... D-backs getting nothing going, so Lope, or, uh, Gomez for the Brewers is holding these Diamondbacks down. Not feeling too good about things, actually, because, well, this is shaping up a lot like last time where Jason had basically no run support for his outing. And even though he only allowed two runs, uh, that held up. Ender Inciarte now two for two on the day. Got a nut hold of that fastball again and took it straight up the middle. And as we put up our team leaderboard graphic, you can see there his total currently third best on this Brewers. Inciarte, of course, a former Atlanta Brave. Ready for another shot, Robert Geary. Shortstop. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball just misses the zone for ball one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Line down the left field line. Way early uh, on that cutter. Near the seats. Hey, nobody. Hey, ground ball right now. Let's go. Oh. No Misses with one, the changeup. Okay. I mean, I think it's I think it's a bit much to burn down his house and kill his family, but you know what? I'm trying to help the sorry, trying to help the Diamondbacks win a championship here, man. I'll do what I have to. Oh, not the dog too, Skip. Come on. Now you're just being cruel. Pulled his sword on that one, but he is judged not to have swung. So, 3-2 count. Taps the changeup on the inside corner. Stays alive. Wait for your pitch up there, huh? The next 3-2. Taps away. away the cutter on the outside half. In Ciarte on at first. No We're going to do the slider again, I guess. Showtime slider down and away. And got caught looking. Changed the channel. That's what you call clipping the outside corner. Great movement on that slider. And it completely locked up the hitter. Didn't fool the umpire, though. Well, it was a bit tricky to catch that particular spot in that count, but we made it happen, and that's what's important. Into the box. Running on the curveball, good pitch to do it on, and we wind up uh, letting Ender Enciarte steal on us, so that's not great. When that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays Two seamer up and in. Misses. One the count of the Brewers' first baseman. Let her fly right here. Hey, get your pitch, drive it. It's two balls Misses with the slider, too. Jason loses a little bit of control here. 
Three-one count. You can bet Cam Gallagher trying to get Jason to calm down right up now. here. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. And he's right here one time. Fastball inside gets the call for strike two. Things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage. Get your pitch and drive All right, three two go. count. Give him a change up low and away. Hey, hit me a seed right here. Got him. Swing and a miss. So Josh Bell goes down on strikes for the second time on the day. That'll may be two outs here. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't. And boss fight, Nomar Mazzara. And he's about as dangerous as they come. Without a doubt, he's one of the cool icons in the sport today. So what are we thinking? We're going to try to strike him out, of course. Here comes the first pitch. No, that's but change up borderline struck call uh, borderline change up, but it is called for a ball. Two balls and no strike. Another two seamer same spot and it's two and no count. And it looks like he might not be afraid to do that by the way he's pitching it. There we go. Two seamer up and in gets the strike no called. Runs, two hits and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Late Fouled off that, that guy. Off to the left side. And he was late on it. So, give him a cutter low and away. The 2-2 two -two pitch. And another and That foul one gets ball. fouled off. Still late on it. So we'll give him one up and in. Now a swing and a block up. in the air back behind go, short. Castilla is there to make the Sammy Castilla the gets it. So we didn't get a strikeout, but we did get out of the inning scoreless. So that'll bring up the D-backs offense again to see if we can't get something going here. Bottom of the fourth. Still nothing going at into the bottom of the fifth, or top of the fifth, excuse me. First pitch on its way. Goes around on that changeup for strike one. Try a two-seamer inside. Grounded over to, uh, who is that, Reinheimer still? It's not uh, Mark Madsen. Settling in now, Kevin Ploiecki. He's now 0 for 1 after Kevin. grounding out in his only trip to the plate Ploiecki. so far. Ready to Track curveball first pitch, pitch to Kevin Ploiecki. That drops out there. for There's ball on. one. On, ball. Hey, have a rip like you can. Here you go. Try another one. And nope, did he go around? Boy, nice Apparently he didn't go around on that one, which that's a great job of keeping whatever. your back. You could tell he was totally fooled. His hips started leaking a little bit, but he was able to stay strong enough with his hands not to overcommit. Takes the slider for strike one. For strike on, two and one. one time. That's a nasty pitch right there. You gotta tip your hat as the hitter. You get a nasty slider like that. Two seamer up and in for strike two. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. Uh, Two-seamer two down and in. Swinging, swinging a miss. Kevin Plowecki goes down, and that is strikeout number six on the day for Jay. Out number one. Or is that out number two? I forget. Out number two, in fact. Stepping in now, Tom Cartwright. Takes slider number one for strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And in fact, uh, oh, I have a brain fart here. Cam Gallagher goes back to the same well for strike two. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it. And in fact, same one. 
And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll We're going to throw one to the backstop, and back to back he doesn't go for it. Away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. One, one, one. On the ground over that grounder's over to Morris Lamb, who's right there, and that will end the inning. So they breeze through this half Come on, inning. guys. Get some runs across. Coming up. And we Starting to look bad out here. Now to the plate, Anthony Aguilar. Leading off for the one Brewers. for him here in this one. The left fielder, Anthony Aguilar. Nope, still nothing going into the sixth. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a slider. Just misses the zone with the slider. Try another two-seamer. That hits the spot for strike one. Hey, let's go, kid. One time right here. Try another slider. One, one, one. That's grounded over to short. And bad throw. So Sammy Castilla makes a throw in error there. And that allows a man on base. Especially when they've had so much trouble getting anybody on base. So now the leadoff hitter is aboard and might be looking to run. They've got to do whatever they can. And we got to ex be expecting a bunt here. Standing in now, Andreas Gomez. And they he gets it down. That is going to be a sacrifice bunt for Andreas Gomez, and that'll bring up Ender Inciarte, who's two for two on the day with a man in scoring position. Hot as a pistol, as they say. See if we can't throw some cold water on him. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Nearly got the inside. Cutter up and in. Misses the zone. Aguilar leads off second with one gun in the inning. That squirts past Sammy Castilla. And that'll be third hit of the day for Ender Enciarte, and that'll put runners on the corners here with only one away. Best opportunity that the Brewers have had all day. Two seamer down and in for strike one. We need a double play here. Double play or a strikeout. I'll take either. Taps the curveball down. He was late on it, so. Two-seamer up ju above the zone. Not just misses, but... Uh, Curveball low outside corner. Lined to Jack Reinheimer at third, and that'll be the second out, so that helps. Big spot here. Runners at the corners. Two down. And digging into bat next, the big bat of Josh Bell. Two seam up and in on Josh Bell. He swings for the fences and misses. Strike one. You're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. That's squirted out there to Reese Hoskins left field and Jason gets out of a jam. Scoreless. So that's six scoreless here. And that'll bring up Jason to bat perhaps. They might sub him for a hitter. We'll find out. Nope, they're going to leave him in. Him and his 214 batting average. Let's find out what he can do. Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's still thinking about it as he walks to the plate right here. Mm, top of the zone, four-seamer. Yeah, Matty, not only is this guy using all four quadrants, he's elevating, getting their eye level up with a quality fastball. That's fine. But he didn't get it two and one. Take a moment, Jay. Step out of the box. Think about it for a second. 
Yeah, he's all he's all right, man. He does his job. Hey, no outs here. We just have to do our job better. The two one home is strike two swinging. <laughs> mm. well, it's been a good outing so yeah, far, but he hasn't really time. racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch to contact kind of guy. And obviously, okay, strike so ball, ball, strike, ball, strike, ball, strike, ball. Keeps his pitch count down. So what's Gene next? Goodyear Another high fastball. Is on deck. No, in fact, not. And that's going to be popped up again. So Jason makes him work a little bit at the plate, but again, just pops out in foul territory. Coming to the plate now, Nomar Mazzara. He comes in for two thus far. Well, I'm definitely not going to allow a walk. Almost certainly. I don't have as much confidence about not allowing a hit. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Right here, he's looking to get himself into a good hitter's count so he can take a rip and maybe give his team the lead. Oof. That was a good base knock straight up the middle. Nomar Mazzara gets a hanging curveball that he drives up the middle for a base hit. the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued. But he didn't. He stayed focused and drove the line drive base there. Two seamer up and in gets strike one called. Taps the cutter down. He was just early on it. The call is for a low outside slider. So I guess that's what we'll give him. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Good eye on that one, I guess. Here we go. Well, we've given one low, slow, and away. Let's give him one high, tight, and inside. We got nobody. Wait for your pitch up there, huh? Nope. Two balls yeah, that's not two nearly as tight as I was hoping. Hey, let it rip, let it rip, let it go. And he got caught looking on that one. So that's strikeout number seven on the day for Jason. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. Good take. It was just kind of a tough call. Well, baby, get your pitch now batting. The catcher. Yeah, and here's the catcher, Kevin well, Ploiecki. He Strike down the with the fastball. 94. Jason kind of running out of so juice far. here. He's thrown 92 pitches through six in the third. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. That's line straight over to second. Double play ball, just what the doctor ordered. Jason gets out of here without allowing a run or a walk. And that'll bring up the lineup for the D-backs again. Let's get it. And we still have no score. Ready once again, Tom Cartwright. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. Nobody has scored any runs this game. Getting kind of ridiculous. Jason finally allows one to Tom Cartwright into right field. Bryce Harper out there to corral it for just a single. And that's going to end Jason's day. He allows another base hit. Five on the day, collects seven strikeouts, no runs so far. And it's going to be a bullpen game from here on out. Your Kevin Coffey please. takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at Arizona. first and nobody now out. And All right, Kevin Coffey out here. Not the best Kevin ERA necessarily, Coffey. but we'll see what we can do here. Now catching and batting nine. Why is Number Mike three. Zanino out here? Mike Zanino. Whatever. We'll make it happen, man. See what the Diamondbacks can do in Jason's absence. Survey says. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this. Well, Jason park, loses one. He probably does not deserve to in the eighth with a fielding error, allowing a run to come in. He pitches for seven innings, allowing one unearned run, none earned. 
on five hits, collects seven strikeouts, but gets himself a loss. He goes to 16 and three on the year, and he goes to 75 and 42 in his career. His ERA is at 1.82, his FIP is at 2.12, and his XFIP is at 2.70. So that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.